This is a severe weather alert. All right, good evening, everybody. We've got our severe thunderstorm watch now expanded to include all of eastern Kentucky, uh, all the way out towards even places like Breathitt. This goes until midnight tonight. Currently, the severe weather is in Fayette, Jessamine, Clark, Madison, Garrett, and Lincoln counties and portions of Casey County this evening. The ones that are around Fayette, Madison, Jessamine, and Clark County go until 715. The ones for our southern portions, oh, excuse me, southern portions of Madison County, Garrett and Lincoln until 730 this evening. And that's because these storms are moving at a pretty good pace to the east, and they're kicking up wind gusts over 60 miles an hour. We do have confirmed reports in northern Fayette County and in Mercer County this evening. 53 and 58 mile an hour wind gusts have been observed. So this is, in fact, a severe thunderstorm case for us here as we roll into tonight. I'm going to try to get you over to radar so we can get a look at what's happening happening currently. Even north of us in Scott County and heading towards Bourbon County, parts of Harrison County, we've got strong storms moving in. So Cynthia, Anna, Paris, Georgetown, you're getting it right now or you're about to. It's just not in the severe warning box at this time. While it may look a bit messy in here where these thunderstorms are severe warned, if we try to flip over to the velocity reading, you're going to notice that there are the strongest wind gusts moving into these areas at this time. Now, as we get a closer view of that, we are going to try to get a pinpointed location for you. Let me turn off the lightning. You can see, and we've got a little breakage here in radar, meaning the beam is getting scattered out. But we've got the strongest looking pinks right now heading right towards Nicholasville and right towards Danville at this time. So we're expecting the chance for 60 mile an hour wind gusts in those neighborhoods here at the moment. So you should need to be down in your safe space. Severe thunderstorm warning is in place for all of you. Places like Winchester, Winchester Richmond, Berea, Lancaster, and Stanford. It's coming your way here in the next uh, couple of minutes. I'm going to go back to the Louisville radar and throw a little tracker on here so we can see uh, when it's expected. Now a couple things that might slow this down is we've got some cells popping out ahead of this and that could actually take some of the energy away from this main line. But as we continue to watch it, Lexington all the way down to Danville, moving to the east at a pretty good clip. We'll go right in the middle of the two speeds, about 45 miles an hour. Puts it in places like Nicholasville right now, five minutes or so. Stanford 702, Lancaster at 705 p.m. And as it continues to update, we're going to be seeing it move closer out here in the next 10 to 20 minutes uh, to further places like Winchester or Richmond. And that's when we're going to start to see those 60 mile an hour gusts try to move through. Like you saw there, we are in that severe thunderstorm watch until midnight for most. It's going to be mainly for the damaging wind gusts and the potential for some of the flash flooding concern. Futurecast has been a little slow in picking this up. It's almost 7 o'clock right now, and this is 8 p.m. on Futurecast, so it's about an hour behind. So if we just take it with the uh, hour advancement on there, by 8 o'clock, it's going to likely be in eastern Kentucky if it keeps this speed and still potentially severe in some locations until 10 or 11 p.m. Even though that watch goes to midnight, that's what we'll be keeping a close eye on here for the rest of this evening. Now, there are other things to talk about as we head into tomorrow. We're not going to be quite done with this. A level one risk for isolated severe storms as we get into our Friday, and that's going to be because that cold front starts to work through for us gets a little bit closer and gives us the chance for more storms. This is 10 a.m. tomorrow with some isolated activity. Futurecast kicks up a broad expansion of scattered activity again tomorrow afternoon. Not necessarily everything being severe, but some strong cells in there. We could be doing this all over again tomorrow night through the later parts of the evening as that cold front very slowly works through. I'll give you a quick note of how tonight and tomorrow is going to go, and then we'll go back to radar briefly. Tonight down to 73 with the scattered storms, and it's going to be muggy. Tomorrow we're going to be seeing temperatures try to get back into the 90 degree range with the chance for mugginess and of course those scattered storms that cold front eventually knocks us down here seven day forecast showing us we've got two more days Friday and then a slimmer chance it looks like on Saturday for some isolated storms Sunday and beyond things are looking good you can see behind that seven day that there is plenty of rain coming into Lexington right now it's coming down pretty good. It is dark out there for us. The gusty winds will continue. One more quick look at radar, and then we'll send things to break here. But as we get a look, those storms continue to work to the east. It's getting a bit messier, but the gusts are still there. So we'll continue to monitor how things play out for us the rest of tonight. We're going to send it over to break, and we've got sports coming up after that break.